Hello friends. In this video, I am going to explore three different methods to power the SIM 800 LG SM module. First, let's take a look at the parts required for this project. First up, I have the 12 volts wall adapter. You can use any 12 volts adapter with a 1 ampere rating to power the SIM 800L module. This will provide a stable source of power for the module to operate. Next, I have 12 volts female jack. It can be directly connected to the 12 volts adapter. I have also sold it two jumper wires to the female jack so that I can connect it directly on the breadboard to supply the power. It's important to note that the red wire is positive 12 volts and the black wire is ground. To provide a stable voltage to the GSM module, you need a capacitor. I am using a 25 volts, 470 microfarad capacitor, which is enough for the SIM 800 LGSM module. This will ensure that the voltage supply to the module is constant and doesn't fluctuate, preventing any damage to the module. Next, I have custom made jumper wires for breadboard. It's always handy to have extra jumper wires on hand for your projects, and these custom made ones work perfectly on the breadboard. I have used this doorbell cable to make jumper wires. There is only a single copper wire inside the insulation, making it ideal for breadboard. Now, let's talk about the SIM 800 LGSM module. It operates on a voltage ranging from 3.4 volts to 4.4 volts. The module's maximum current draw is around 2 amp during a transmission burst. So, it's important to ensure that your power supply is capable of providing enough power, otherwise, it won't work. Before continuing, make sure you have attached the antenna to the module. You can use any GSM antenna with the module. Also, make sure you have inserted the SIM card properly. This module only supports 2G SIMs, so you cannot use 3G or 4G SIM cards with this module. Now let's move to the powering options for SIM 800L. The first one is Li-Ion battery. One of the advantages of Li-Ion batteries is that, they have a voltage range of 3.7 volts to 4.2 volts, Perfect for a SIM 800L module. Any Li Ion battery with a capacity of 1000 mAh or higher should work, as these batteries can withstand current spikes up to 2 amp while maintaining usable voltage. Additionally, Li Ion batteries have a relatively stable voltage output, which is ideal for the stable operation of SIM 800L module. Let's connect the battery to SIM 800 LGSM module. Before you proceed, ensure that the battery is fully charged. The connections are very simple. Just connect the positive terminal of the battery to the VCC pin on the SIM 800 L module. Then, connect the negative terminal of the battery to the ground. If everything goes well, then the indicator LED start blinking once every second which means the module is scanning for a network. Typically, the module connects to the network within 12 to 13 seconds. And when the LED starts flashing every 3 seconds, that means the module has connected to the network and ready to use. The next one is DC to DC buck converter. The LM2596 is a powerful DC to DC buck converter with a rating of 2 amp. This converter is highly efficient, resulting in minimal energy loss during voltage conversion, which can decrease the device's overall power consumption. This converter is designed to accept input voltages within the range of 4.5 volts to 40 volts and regulate the output voltage according to our requirements. In this example, we will be providing 12 volts as the input voltage and converting it to 4.2 volts at the output side, which is the ideal voltage for the SIM 800L to operate smoothly. Let's now quickly connect the LM2596 buck converter to the breadboard. Here, this is the input side, where we will be supplying 12 volts. 
Here is the in plus pin, and we will connect the positive 12 volts to this pin. The other one is in minus pin, where we will connect the ground. To supply 12 volts to the buck converter, first I will connect the female DC jack to the converter. Here, the red wire indicates the positive 12 volts, while the black wire indicates ground. To power the converter, I will use a simple 12 volts wall adapter and I will connect it to the input side of the converter. Before continue, let's check the voltages at the input side. Here you can see, we have 12 volts at the input side. Next, I will connect two jumper wires at the output side of the converter to power the SIM 800L module. Here, the red wire indicates VCC, while the black wire indicates ground. To check the voltages at the output side, I will again connect the voltmeter. Here, the voltages should be set to 4.2 volts, which is ideal for the SIM 800L. But if the desired voltage is not seen, then you can use the potentiometer to adjust the voltage by rotating the knob. Ensure that the voltages remains within the range of 4.2 volts to 4.4 volts to avoid damaging the SIM 800L module. If you provide more than 5 volts to the module, it will burn out. So be careful while powering the SIM 800L. Now I have set the voltages to 4.2 volts. So a buck converter is ready to power the SIM 800L. But before powering the SIM 800L, I will connect a capacitor to it. Make sure, the positive terminal of the capacitor should be connected to VCC and the negative terminal to the ground. Finally, I will power the SIM 800L module. So, you just connect the OUT plus pin to the VCC pin of GSM module. And connect the OUT minus pin to the ground of the GSM module. Now look at the indicator LED and wait until the GSM module have searched for a network. It usually takes 12 to 13 seconds to connect to the network. Here you can see, now the module is connected to the network. Now let's move to our third powering option which is Mini 360. The Mini 360 is a DC to DC buck converter that steps down voltage to a lower level, making it a suitable option for powering the SIM 800L. Compared to the LM2596, the Mini 360 is smaller in size, making it a more compact solution for projects with limited space. It also has a wider input voltage range of 4.75 volts to 23 volts, allowing for greater flexibility in power supply options. Let's connect it to SIM 800L module. Here, I have already connected the 12 volts supply to the Mini 360. First I will check the voltage at the output side. So, I will connect the voltmeter to the converter to measure the voltage at the output side. Here, I have already set the voltage to 4.3 volts. If your voltages are not within the range, then you can adjust the voltage by rotating this potentiometer. Next, let's connect the Mini 360 to SIM 800L. First connect the OUT plus pin of Mini 360 to the VCC pin of GSM module. Finally, connect the OUT minus pin to the ground of the GSM module. Now look at the indicator LED and wait until the GSM module have searched for a network. Here you can see, now the module is connected to the network. That's all. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Bye.